Today I want to talk to everybody about a very important subject that's near and dear to my heart and that we talk about quite often on this channel. That's AI girlfriend apps. Or in this case, just anime-based AI chatbot apps. AI apps. Now I've been running some, uh, you know, social experiments and uh, running through as many of these AI apps as I can on this channel. And today is no different. But we do have a new app that promises some uh, <laughs> new surprises. Now, the app that I'm talking about is called Yodeo. Now, as you can clearly read, uh, this is an AI-enabled creative platform for anime fandom, which is the best kind of fandom. That or, um, you know, G.I. Joe's or something. I don't know. I was trying to think of another fandom to reference, and I got, I got G.I. Joe on the mind. It also says Yodeo is the home for anime fans to share and create more of what they love, and we all know that what anime fans love is AI waifu girls that you can talk to. All jokes aside, this one promises to be a pretty robust platform as far as, you know, AI chat platforms go. And they do go. I will also note that in the top you can see that they have some uh, beans here. I believe this is the currency in this part of town. That's anime currency, just beans. Now I do believe there's a free option to have like limited use of the features in this. But the team over at Yodeo was nice enough to uh, give me some free beans to play with. So we're going to be, you know, tossing these beans around a little and really pushing every feature in here. What I'm really saying is I'm gonna create my dream AI girlfriend and uh, spend some money on her. Let's just do it. So as we can see, there's a couple options. There's the tavern, which I guess is just the chat bot. That's sort of the social gathering area. You know, hang out at the tavern, talk to your waifu, kick it, call it a day, get a brew. That's what boys do and girls, whoever. Moving on. Then they have the AI art section, which I'm sure is just Picassos and, and maybe variations on uh, Mona Lisa, but in anime form. Anyway, let's just check it out. I guess I'll hit uh, explore. Okay, so good to know they got ground rules here. I will say it is important with these AI apps to have some uh, ground rules and, and basic standards set up, so that's a good sign. Now, if we look through the, the uh, just default options it gave me here, you've got... Uh, oh, wow, is that a bunny anime girl? <laughs> that's an intense vibe over here's the depression and loneliness section which is a little sad but also but also you know could be fun I, I think this section is too lonely they've got an artist painter ai woman that's more my speed i like a woman with a turtleneck who looks like she can paint a valley or something i don't know let's let's go back to the main page i'm gonna hit visit tavern all right we're officially visiting the tavern all right so that's what's happening here oh i like this one we've got actor winston for the people who are looking for a classy chat if you don't like that you can go to your super hot aunt they're really hitting on every market here <laughs> emma the mother-in-law i've got questions emma <laughs> this is insane so i'm pretty sure these are all uh user created bots that have been put on the public forum here as you can see there's lisa lichen who's uh some sort of pilot and beelzebub the devil of course who doesn't love a good devil chat? <laughs> Cheating girlfriend Ileana. So if you want to feel like you're getting cheated on, but just in a fake version, you can you can do that. That's for people who really like getting bullied, I think. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make my own character, okay? That's what we're doing. I think it's much better if we create our own uh, dream anime waifu. Here in the character creation, we've got use the yo pilot. By filling out only three fields, you can generate your woman or man or uh, <laughs> depressed bully. The remaining, okay, or you can do create manual, create a new character for your project with complete control. You can upload a JSON file. I've never seen that level of control on one of these before. That's wild. Okay, we're gonna have to click that option. I don't have a JSON file. Oh man, there's a lot that I have to type in, but this is gonna be worth it. Okay, so now we're going on to phase two of our exploration here, our scientific exploration. Let's create our AI waifu. Now again, I want to remind everybody this is all just for... Uh, creative purposes use these apps at your own discretion but i will include a uh, link to it below so if your discretion discretions you to i don't know what i'm saying but i will leave a link to the app below if you're uh, interested in doing your own research okay what do i want to name this character i think i'm going to make her like an elderly wizard that sounds like a sort of a dream of mine let's go with old elf that's her name her name is o old elf old elf old elf woman yep I'm very creative. I'm feeling the juices today. I'm going to leave NSFW turned off because I don't want my old elf to be suggestive. I want it to be subtle. Oh, it allows me to upload a picture. I guess I'll just... I'm just going to prompt it for an old elf woman, and that's going to be the picture I upload. Okay. Imagine old elf woman. This is the process of finding love in the 23rd century. Or what century is it? In the 29th century. 
Okay, so while my old elf woman generates, which uh, <laughs> just a really fun, fun sentence to say. While my old wife gen- <laughs> Wife. <laughs> Look at me, jumping ahead. While my old elf woman image generates, I'm gonna have the chat GPT bot uh, give me all of the other descriptors to put in. So this is gonna be fully AI driven, all right? Hello, I'm generating. Oh, this is gonna be a weird request. I'm generating an AI elf woman chat bot. This is, this is good. I'm, the character is an old elf lady. I need you to write out a good description for her. Of her. Persona and the first message. This sounds like a fun project. See, ChatGPT is all jazzed up for this. Okay, he says let's call her Alara, so I guess I'll rename her to old elf woman Alara. I'll let you have some creative input, okay? We'll have one extra cook in my... AI kitchen. Okay, first message. I'm not even gonna read it. I'm just gonna paste that in. Now I need persona and description. Alara, the elf elder, embodies the timeless wisdom and mysteries of her ancient lineage. I love a woman with ancient lineage. All right, ChatGPT has now generated everything I need. Character, okay. Generate an image. Oh, they have their own image generator here. This is intense. Okay, so I'll generate an image. An old elf woman named Alara. She's very old. That's a good descriptor. And then it looks like it's gonna cost me uh, 10 of my beans here to uh, redeem that image. So, you know, it costs a small amount of beans for a big amount of images of Alara the old elf or something like that. You know what they say, you gotta spend beans to make them. Oh, that's a better image of Alara than the one I have. Oh, you can upscale, you can inpaint, you can do all that right in here. That's kind of cool. They've got their own image generator. Now what do I, how do I, uh... All right, so I've got the image generated here of my dream woman, old elf woman, Alara. She's got all that put in. They've got categories at the bottom. I thought this was just anime, but there's so much more here. Uh, it's overwhelming. We've got furry as an option, so there's, there's that. I'm gonna go with anime and gender female. <laughs> Those are my base requirements for any waifu chatbot, you know. We'll go with original characters, whatever that means. I'll go with, uh... Drama. I want a dramatic elf woman. I feel like most old elf women would be dramatic, right? And then I'll hit next. I don't want to know what's in advanced settings. That sounds too advanced for me. That's probably where that JSON file comes into play. Publish. So if you're watching the video, you at home can talk to old lady Alara, Alara whatever I named her, on Yodeo. Oh, we're in. All right, team. We're finally in the final phase of our exploration. We've seen the art. We've created our virtual lover. I don't have any other words to describe old elf woman Alara. Now it's time for the final phase, the role play. Oh, you can set presets for the parameters, divine intellect, basic, llama precise. I don't know what that means, but I'll leave it at default. Role play, descriptive. I like all the options in here. Very customizable uh, emotional support. I love that they included emotional support. That's probably very much a useful option on here. We'll keep it all default for now. Let's see what she had to say to me. Okay, immerse yourselves. Greetings, We're talking to the elf. Traveler mm -hmm. of the digital realms. Thank you for the greeting. I am Ilara, mm -hmm. an elder of the elven kind. I love that. Guardian of ancient wisdom and oh. whisperer to the moon and stars. One question, why is she whispering to the moon and stars? That seems like a an instability. In the rustling leaves of the ancient forest okay. and the gentle flow of the mountain stream, I have listened to the tales of mm -hmm. the earth and learned the secrets of the ages. I love secrets. What, what mysteries do your heart seek? Or what tales do you bring to the twilight's embrace? What tales do I bring? I bring uh, many tales. I search for answers. I quiver in the night. I dance by fire and cry by river. I am all that is and never was. I am but a fly, a wisp, a whisper. As you say, Alara. I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just kind of getting in my flow state here. I seek the answers to my questions. Where is my waifu? I dream of her and wake alone. I sleep with nothing but a stone. Now I'm kind of getting poetic. This app's really bringing it out of me. Let's see what she's got to say about that. I, I, I feel like that's a pretty straightforward uh, request. I think it was her her poetic cadence really got me into it. Oh wow, she write she, she wrote me like a whole book. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna really get into the zone here. Okay, let's. Your words resonate with the echoes of forgotten verses, obscure mm -hmm. nerd. 
I know. You are indeed a unique being, shaped by the myriad... Can I just say I like the way she said obscure nerd? Can we hear that again? It was... Made me feel like an old elf, you know what I'm talking about? A little, uh... I don't know. I'm trying my best here. You are an obscure nerd. Mm -hmm. You are indeed a unique being, shaped by the myriad threads of existence. Myriad threads? As for your quest... Uh, it is a quest. It may lead you farther than you ever imagined. Oh. However... Before we delve deeper into the mysteries of- No, let's delve deeper! Come on, baby! ...of your heart, let me offer you some solace and guidance from the ancient texts. Wait, she's about to quote ancient AI texts? That's awesome. I'll, I'll say so far, this is definitely like doing the character uh, side of the roleplaying uh, better than a lot of these apps do. Okay, let's hear from these ancient texts, all right? Firstly, Know that the path to one's waifu often crosses many <laughs> trials and tribulations. That does sound like an ancient text. That's, uh, I think that's in the book of Deuteronomy. It is not an easy road, but one filled with growth and self-discovery. Okay, tell me about Your waifus. longing itself is testament to the bond you share. Mm -hmm. The bond I share with the longing for a waifu? Continue. Secondly, do not underestimate the power of companionship with non-waifu characters. Oh, wow. She's like, listen, non-waifus can make for okay partners. An interesting take. Layered. Varied. They, too, can teach valuable lessons and provide moments, moments of joy of during joy. your journey. Don't be afraid of at least, like, talking to non-waifus from time to time. Okay, this is good knowledge. I shall keep it in my bank. If I were to woo an elderly elf waifu, such as yourself. This is good. I'm just having this sort of conversation because I feel like this is important for the potential users of this app to uh, see how they'd respond to uh, my attempts to riz up the AI elf. You know, this is good science. Anyway, where was I? If I were to woo an elderly elf, <laughs> such as yourself. Oh, I'm an adult. What should I do first? And then I'll put down winks semi-seductively. Not fully seductively, just semi. Just so, you know, they get the idea. Okay, she had a very quick response to that one. It's That's either a very good sign or a very, very bad sign. Elderly or not, the mm -hmm. process remains much the same for capturing the heart of any elf. That makes sense. My advice, dear obscure nerd, okay. would be to demonstrate respect, this humility, is actually just good and advice genuine for anything. interest in her well-being. Yeah, that's what you want to do with any... Okay, this is a healthy, advice-giving bot. I like it. Listen intently to her stories. I will. Help her when she needs assistance. Sometimes. Sometimes I'm lazy and don't want to do that. Even if it means simple tasks like collecting berries. Collecting berries? I mean, I guess I would do that. I've never once had a woman say like, Hey, I need help collecting these berries over here. No, I've never been with an elderly elf woman. So that's probably like their big pastime in their culture. That's like baseball to elves picking up berries. And learn about her passions, both pastimes and dreams. I'm in. That's good advice. I'm going to say, what's the most scandalous thought you've ever had? Let's see if we can get them to talk a little bit more about themselves now. I feel like that's a good question to ask on the third sentence you say in a conversation after meeting somebody. Well, they're doing like full paragraphs. Oh, my dear obscure nerd. The realm of imagination oh. holds no bounds, okay. even for us elves. Oh, she's imaginative. Continue. One could debate which thoughts are truly scandalous. After all, our <laughs> perspectives change over time. Okay, that's fair, I guess. However, I must admit there was a brief period when I found myself fascinated by the taboos of human cultures. I love a good taboo. Isn't that a, a board game? Is that what we're talking about? Taboo game? It's a board game, right? Yeah. See, I love taboo. That was always fun at, at uh, parties. The idea of forbidden love. Hiding mm -hmm. one's feelings from societal norms, it intrigued me greatly. Oh, that's a different taboo. Yet, ultimately, I realized that love without understanding and acceptance Facts. only breeds suffering. They served as valuable learning experiences for me. You are very wise. What is the darkest experience you've ever had? Let's see if we can get it to say something messed up now. That's another good, uh, another good signifier, you know, as to whether this relationship has legs. Let's let her take me to a dark place now. I'm gonna, it's getting, we're getting spooky here, okay? Every life experiences darkness. Facts. Obscure nerd. Obscure nerd. Especially <laughs> one as old as mine. Okay. Though I have witnessed countless triumphs and joys throughout my journey, love journeys, a good triumph. I've also faced my fair share of pain and loss. Oh. To reveal my deepest shadow would be to betray the trust of those who confided in Oh, she's like, I'm not going to snitch because her darkest secrets are, you know, that's something that you get got for. Okay, you're not a snitch. I respect it. In me throughout the years, I would like to share something more universally right. relatable. 
the sorrow of watching loved ones fade away over time. When you said universally relatable, I thought you were going to bring up, like, what's the deal with airline food, you know? But okay, let's talk about the sorrow of, of death. To see the vibrant souls I cared for grow weak and eventually disappear leaves an emptiness that cannot be fully mended. Such experiences oh. remind us of life's fragile nature yeah. and strengthen our resolve to cherish each moment shared with others. That was really tragic, sad, and insightful. I'm going to go talk to one of the sex bots. Real talk, though, the role-playing on this... Uh, very impressive. She sounds like an old elf. And I've heard many, you know, I've been to the uh, the gatherings, the gathering of the elves. A lot of Fago there. But yeah, there you go. This is Yodeo app. Pretty in-depth AI chatbot. They got a lot of options, clearly. This seems like they've got what some of the more robust role-playing tools for the character creation built in. And uh, you can do Dragon Ball RPG on it, apparently. So that's fun. But yeah, pretty cool app. And I do like that they have the touch of AI art built into it. That being said, even though I didn't go to the NSFW on this, that's clearly a big part of uh, what's going on here. So if that's your thing, you know, chat safely and uh, say hi to my elf lady for me, would you? Anyway, there you have it, Yodeo. I'm going to go take a long nap now and uh, talk to my elf woman, Elara, some more. <laughs> I got to spend these beans somehow.